Hey there, Allison with EverydayShortcuts.com. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be making edible jello worms. It sounds gross, I know, but they are edible and they are fun for Halloween parties for kids and adults. So what you're gonna need to make this recipe is a jello packet. Um, I would try to use like a red base color. Um, I'm gonna use cherry. You can use like strawberry, raspberry. Uh, black cherry might be too dark, so I would probably use a lighter color. And actually, maybe um, even like peach would work or watermelon would work too. And then you're gonna need some unflavored gelatin, whipping cream, um, I'm going to try, I want to make them like an opaque color, kind of like an earthy worm type color. So I'm going to have to play around with this um, and using maybe like red and green food coloring. Then you're going to need some bendy straws, the ones that have the little ridges in here and that can bend um, because that will make the worms look like worms. And then you're going to need a mason jar to put the straws in when you put the jello in. So let's get started in making this fun but gross recipe. So the first thing you're going to do is boil three cups of water. You can add them to a microwave safe bowl and microwave it um, to get it boiling. And then you're going to add the one package of red jello and three packages of unflavored gelatin and you're going to mix them together until it's completely dissolved. Next you want to add in your heavy whipping cream and we're going to add in a three-fourths of a cup. And you're just going to mix all that together. You can see it's giving that nice red color um, but we want to make it more earthy color like the color of a worm so we're gonna add in some food coloring I'm gonna add in some of the green and see how that works um, and then I don't know I may need to add in some different colors we're gonna try this out Okay, I added about 15 drops of the green food coloring. Oh, and you can see it's kind of giving it that earthy tone that you would see like an earthworm. If you want, you can add more. If you don't want it this color, I mean, you can always try different color food colorings um, to get it kind of the color you want, but I think this is, this looks pretty good. So I think we're going to go with this color. Okay, next you want to get all of your bendy straws together and you're going to pull each one apart so that way you have the lines um, that you can make for the earthworm. And then you're going to take your jar because we're actually going to put these straws in here. We're going to pour the liquid in here to create the worms. Um, and you just don't want it dripping out everywhere. So it's going to kind of be our stopper um, to kind of absorb it a little bit. So you, after you've opened up all your straws, you want to gather them together and rubber band them. And then you're going to put the bendy side down into the jar and then have these parts sticking out the top. All right, now we are going to remove the straws from the cup. I actually used a larger cup just because I wanted more stuff. And yes, that looks disgusting, but we are not going to use that part. We are actually just going to take this off. And we just want the straws. And we want what's inside the straw. So we're just going to discard this gross stuff. It's very slimy. So there's going to be different colors when you take the gummies or the jello 
worms out and that's okay because you can use part of it if you want you can use all of it but a very easy technique is pretty much just squeezing it out just like so and there you go you get your little worms out and you can you can roll them out with a rolling pin if you want um, but this is pretty much the easiest way to get them out. Sometimes they are a little bit harder to get out, but they do eventually come out. And that's that. So you just do all that, and then we're going to make some um, jello. We're going to make some pudding, and we're going to put some crushed Oreos on top to make it look like dirt. And then we're going to spread the worms the jello worms all over and I'll show you how to do that so if you don't have any bendy straws on hand or can't get a hold of any um, there are also like worm molds that you can get on Amazon and I'll link that in the description as well um, but this is what they look like they do have like this one has like uh, the ridges already in it and then they have like the shape of the head for the worm as well and it's a silicone mold so I went ahead and put in some in here just to kind of see what they would look like and I'll show you what those look like when they're done so I got all the worms out of the straws and they kind of like broke apart which is okay because worms are all different sizes and they kind of look like that but this is the mold that I got on Amazon um, if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say that the ones with the straws were really a pain in the butt. Like my hands were hurting trying to squeeze them out of the straw. Maybe I needed to use a larger, like a wider straw. I'm not sure, but I would rather have just gone with the mold because these were easy to pop out of the silicone mold. Um, and they're all like... Most of them are in one piece, so just my opinion, but you can do either or. And we're going to set up the um, dirt pudding, and then we're going to put it all together.